In this video, I wanted to share with you a simple little defense that you can add into your 46 uh, defensive scheme. For those of you that are running the nickel 335 wide, or if you're even running nickel normal, you can add this uh, little defense here into you know kind of your package. And I think this is something that you can utilize um, just in key situations to help kind of force your opponent to check down. So we're gonna talk about that here in just a second. If you're new to the channel, I do wanna ask you to go ahead and consider to click that subscribe button. Um, it's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on YouTube. All right guys, so let's take a look at this. This is in the 46 playbook and we're in the nickel 335 formation. Now for those of you that I've talked about this before, um, about the importance of 335 and 335 Y because of the audibles and because of the adjustments you're gonna be able to get if you utilize the nickel 335. Now, I'm gonna be in our Patreon membership, I'm gonna be updating it um, over the course of probably a week or so, uh, where I'm gonna update in this nickel 335 defense that I've been working on for a little bit of a, a little bit of time right now. Um, but I feel like it's in a really, really good place, especially with some of the latest AP updates. And with the fact that escape artist is not as prevalent right now, this is a defense that I think is gonna have a lot more value. So what you wanna do, um, and again, there's more to come on this, but um, this is just something that you can kind of initially add in especially if you're running 335 wide. You can also audible over to nickel normal as well. Uh, so you have two really good defenses that you can kind of work in between alongside of this 335 normal defense. This is more of a situational call. Um, it's kind of something that I like to go to, uh, honestly, whenever I'm just trying to kind of contain, kind of keep the lid on my opponent. What we're gonna do in our packages is we're gonna to go to the safety nickelback package. And what you're gonna notice here is we can go ahead and feel completely free to sub in you know whoever you want at that spot but you just want to come out in this package right here and we're going to come out in the play tampa too now from an adjustments perspective and this is really cool how this is going to work this is a base align um this is a base align defense it's really designed to essentially just force your opponent it's kind of something that i was looking at iowa state um the iowa state 335 defense and basically what it boils down to is this you're going to take um I personally, the way I like to run this is I actually like to user um, the, the blitzing slot. He's already blitzing. He's already in the field of play. If you want to use the middle linebacker, you can. I'm going to show you how to do that in just a second. But I personally really like to user the slot. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to baseline and press, and we're going to pinch our defense. So you see it looks just like this right here. And then we're going to stand right here. So you see how this is like a little 335 deal. It's actually a nightmare to run on. It's not really that easy to run on this defense, which is an advantage to you. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put both of our safeties in outside third. So you see right here, outside third, outside third. Um, that is from the free safety nickelback pack or the safety nickelback package that we have. And then we're going to uh, go ahead and put the middle safety in or the, the middle linebacker here into a middle third. Now, the reason that I like it like this is, and if you want to, you can spread those linebackers. If you wanted them wider, um, you can spread them or pinch them. It's up to you. The reason I like those linebackers where I like them on the field of play, they're going to play a lot of stuff in those vertical hooks. They're going to play um, little wheel routes. They're going to play little underneath patterns, stuff like that. If you want to bluff blitz somebody, you certainly can do that in this defense. It's like, let's say you want to bluff blitz Winovich. You certainly can do that. Or you could bluff blitz your nose tackle. Um, if they have post-ups, you might want to leave all three guys rushing. If they don't have post-ups, though, feel free to bluff blitz this guy right here, and you're going to get a one-on-one -on -one between one of your guys, and typically will be able to get a nice little shed. But what we're going to see in this defense is it's going to give us a pretty nice little spread in terms of how we're going to cover. And you're going to notice that these outside thirds from the safeties do a really, really good job, especially against players that are not using Gunslinger. So they're using Sepi lead or pass lead elite. So you saw right there, we were able to defend um, that crosser. So again, you're just gonna baseline and press. I like to use her this guy. If you don't, you don't have to pinch the line either, by the way. If you wanna leave them spread, that's fine. I think pinching the line is helpful just because it puts you in a position to have fairly decent success at stopping the run. But the beauty of this is the stack alignment really puts them in a great position in terms of playing different routes and stuff like that. So let me show you another route that's popular from Gun Bunch, the Z-Spot route. And what you're going to notice here is, again, those outside thirds, um, see how that middle third is going to take the deep guy, and the outside third is going to run down on the ball and oftentimes put himself in a position where he can make a play on that. 
The other thing that you can do is occasionally change your zone drops. You can always go to a Mabel look if you wanted to. So you can put these two linebackers in purple zones just like this. But it's just a real simple defense. But what I like about this defense is, again, it puts you in a position to where you're only having to use or some of the you know little underneath stuff kind of protects your user a little bit on the sideline. As you can see, that's really good defense uh, for any kind of flooding combination, which is what most people are going to run. Now, let's say that you're watching this and you're like, you know, great tip, but I don't want to have to use her the nickel. I want to be able to use her this guy. That's fine. Um, what you want to do in that case is you want to put your nickel corner in a vertical hook. So you got your safeties and then your nickel corners in a vertical hook. And then the linebacker that is on the left side of the screen or um, the linebacker that is in the middle, you're going to want to put him in that middle third. And then now you can use her this guy. Okay. And if you want to, honestly, you could do something like this. Just a simple movement of this right here. It's going to create the same basic principle uh, that we're going for. And then as you'll see right here, again, it's a very, very good concept, especially for verticals. It just makes it so that they, again, you're keeping the lid on your defense. It's one of my favorite um, defenses for third and long um, because it just, again, just keeps everything in frame. So I personally would recommend that if you're going to do this, go ahead and use this guy. And the reason why is because if I just blitz both outside guys, let's say I want to get some pressure. Um, let's say I want to get some pressure at the quarterback. I could do something like this and have, you know, pretty good coverage. Again, I still have my, my safe coverage, and then I've got some pressure here. But what's nice about this is this little pressure. Again, it's super simple, but typically you'll get something coming through the, the gap, especially if you pinch your D-line. You'll have kind of this looping angle. I'll show that real quick. Um, but this is just something that you can add into you know what you're already doing out of the nickel the nickel package um the nickel 335 package in the 46 playbook because you're going to be coming out in this every time anyway but you can do something like this these little contains here and what you should see is these contains can get kind of glitchy in terms of the way that this can come you get a little disengaged five man pressure just real simple something real simple of course you can do other stuff off of this as well so let's say for example that you wanted to you know kind of leverage the power that you have with these outside guys just run this guy off the edge, blitz him just like that. And oftentimes what you'll get with this is a pretty decent little two-man rush right there. You see that? Very simple. So this 3-3-5 defense I think is actually something that we've probably been sleeping on um, for a majority of the year. Um, you know, just because, again, you can use, you can move these guys around and stack them in certain spots. So you could do something like this right here, something just real simple. You can shift your line. You know kind of like this and then you know kind of create a little odd front uh, but the beauty of this is again these contains are pretty glitchy this year especially against bunch and blocked running backs which is a lot of what you're going to face you know you're kind of recreating if you spread your line what you'll notice here is you're kind of recreating three through five odd just by moving him down putting him on a contain and then you're going to click off now you want to move him kind of right you know kind of right there if you will you just want him to be on the contain and then you can kind of again just bring this little front just like this and you've got a pretty nice little stack here that you can leverage to get pressure at the quarterback just like that and you see how that little five man kind of turns it into pinch two if you will so this little cover two defense is something i'm going to talk more about in the future but probably one of my favorite little defenses right now um, just because of the fact that it puts you in a really good position to uh, be able to you know kind of be able to hang with a lot of what people are doing and you can do something as simple as this and just use her this guy and now it's basically three three five wide it's just a little different it's a little nuanced um, but you can have really really nice little cover two defense with these coverage adjustments the other cool part is you can cross man anybody on the field and you can make routes like this crosser much much more difficult to complete so this is a little something something for you i hope you enjoyed the video breakdown you can do this out of wide also so if i want to do this out of wide real quick let me show you all I would need to do is literally the exact same thing. Um, the major difference here is it just puts this in a little bit of a more awkward position. So he's just going to be a little bit more out here. And you can do something just like this. The problem is the defensive linemen, they're not in a really good position to blitz. Okay, that's the one issue. It does have a good five-man pressure, but it's not a good two- to three-man pressure. Uh, but you can certainly do you know something like this and create basically the same concept out of wide 
um, and now have really good run defense. If I was going to do this, I would certainly want to pinch these guys. And the reason why is because this makes us one of the better run defenses in the game. And you still have the great coverage adjustments that you get out of the nickel 335, which is one of the main reasons why I really enjoy this defense. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to learn more about this or if you want to get the ebook uh, on this, there is a link in the description to join my Patreon. You get everything in the Patreon, all 18 offensive and defensive guides, any new guides that I release, um, any new updates to those guides, which there will be an update. Uh, soon talking about a little bit more of this zone drop style defense that I've been running on the 335 so if you want to check that out there's a link in the description below and you can get that for just uh, fit or uh, ten dollars a month unlocks everything over there and again I think it's a great bang for your buck